Hello guys, welcome to Learn How to SAP Basics. Today we'll be learning about integration testing of Watchdog Driver and Watchdog Manager in automotive ECUs. If you want to learn more about working of Watchdog and Watchdog Manager, please check the videos in i button. Let's learn. As functional safety is becoming more and more significant, Watchdog is getting more reliance. Hence, testing the Watchdog behavior in different scenarios becomes important. Today we are going to cover internal and external Watchdog driver testing and then we'll cover Watchdog manager with its supervision methods. The first topic is internal Watchdog testing. While testing the Watchdog, we need to consider the implementation of driver in hardware. As it depends on microcontroller manufacturer, for example, Renesas controllers like RA78 and RAC50 allows Watchdog to reset the controller even the debugger connected. Though, in the case of Cypress Drivio 2 and ST Chorus microcontrollers, we need to disconnect the debugger for Watchdog to perform the reset. Let's see a test code for Watchdog driver. Here, we have added an if condition to enable or disable the trigger of Watchdog. When we have debugger connected, we can update the test conditions by using the watch window of the debugger. After disabling the trigger, we should expect a reset. When we are working without the debuggers, we can update the condition using a digital input or a CAN signal. By changing the input voltage at digital input or by updating the CAN signal, we can toggle the test conditions. Now let's learn about external watchdog testing. Here we have listed out the most popular SPC used with the watchdog peripheral embedded within. It communicates with the help of SPI to the microcontroller. Important point to note here is that the reset pin of microcontroller will be connected to SPC. It is called reset output pin. So whenever the watchdog timeout expires, watchdog resets the microcontroller by pulling down the reset line. For testing the external watchdog, we need to disconnect the debugger. We can update the test conditions by toggling a digital input or a CAN signal. Let's go to the next slide to see how to observe a reset without the debugger. With debugger, we can simply put a breakpoint at one of the initialization function and observe if it's getting to hit a breakpoint while performing the test. Without debugger, we can use an oscilloscope to probe the reset line of the microcontroller. During the reset, the line of the micro goes to low means 0 volts and come back to high means 5 volts. Also, we can use the vector canoe to observe the reset using can trace. By means of transmission error during our test, we can confirm the presence of a reset. Now let's learn about Watchdog Manager testing. Testing supervision is straightforward. As we all know, we have a single API for alive supervision, deadline supervision, and logical supervision, which is Watchdog Manager checkpoint reached. In a testing, we will be restricting the call of Watchdog Manager checkpoint reached. While performing the test, Watchdog Manager evaluates the results in its main function cycle. It evaluates as an incorrect behavior and hence the supervision entity's local status will be changed to failed or expired depending on the tolerance configured. Hence, the global status will also get updated accordingly. Failure can be observed at callout function of watchdog manager or wait for watchdog driver to trigger a reset. As due to error condition, watchdog manager will be restricting the trigger of watchdog driver. Monitor transitions of local status. For each supervised entity, Watchdog Manager maintains their local status. Also, it provides a configuration for providing the tolerance for failure. Means, for example, three consecutive failures can be considered as failure if tolerance is configured as three. Status transition flow also differs based on the configured values of failed tolerance. For instance, if we have a failed tolerance equals to zero, then status directly changes to expired, otherwise transit to failed state status of Watchdog Manager. We have two APIs available to fetch the global and local status of supervision entities. With local status API, we need to provide the SE ID. Two distinct port interfaces are available for informing the RTE using mode switch ports. Only a single port will be available for global mode and individual modes can be as many as supervised entity configured in Watchdog Manager. Thank you and see you in the next video.